much. Thank You're you, welcome. sir. How excited you are. Nice to meet you. It's, you. it's nice to meet you. Oh, is it cold in here? Coming up, dog sledding to the Whistler backcountry. Pretty tame, right? As Lila and I find out, that's not exactly the case. Jesse, who let the dogs out? Wait, what? <laughs> We're here at Outdoor Adventures Dog Sledding Tours with Gordo, and we're getting ready to go dog sledding, and as you can tell, the dogs are going crazy. They are. They're ready and waiting to take us out into where are we going? We're going out to the Sioux Valley. We go about four miles out. We have a nice big turnaround four miles back. We follow the river up. Um, yeah, these guys are quieting down as soon as we take off. It's a beautiful trail out there. It's going to be really quick today. It'll be lots of fun. Okay, let's go do it. Let's right. get it. Lila's riding in the sled, and I'm driving, if that's what you want to call it. But before I do, i got to get a quick lesson from Gordo on how to control these dogs. So these harnesses that they're putting on the dogs, do they hurt the dogs at all? Do they wear on the dog's fur? They're designed to uh, be the safest and most comfortable for the dogs. It transfers all the weight to their shoulders. Okay. So all they do, they lean forward and they just start pulling. So it's like a really a really well-fitted backpack, kind Pretty of. Much. That's exactly what it is. That's awesome. Now, the dogs are standing in the snow here with just their nothing on the snow but their paws. Do you have any issues ever with the dog's paws getting cold? Never. These guys actually have fur in between their, uh, in between their toes. I love it. Well, there are, it looks like all the dogs are harnessed up, and uh, ready to go. I don't know who's more excited, me or the dogs. <laughs> I'm ready to do this. All right, so let's get going then. Let's do it. Seeing how fast the dogs could go kind of freaks me out. Is dog sledding safe? I want to find out for myself. <laughs> and what did you think? I loved it. I had so much fun. So. Um, what were you most surprised about when you, you know? How fast they go? Like, we had to keep stopping because they kept, like, plowing into the people ahead of us. So we had to, like, kind of hold on the brakes. And then we wait so we couldn't see them anymore. We'd be caught up to them in seconds. <laughs> they're fast a little. I mean, oh, yeah. they're remarkably trim, but they, they really can move. Yeah. Were you, uh... He told us that our lead dog was, like, the oldest dog that they had. And he was, like, most, and he knew it more than better than everybody else. And they're real excited to do it and everything. Was there anything uh, that's scary? Any moments? <laughs> no. No, it's pretty much fun. It was pretty much just get on and you just had to hold on for the sled and use the brake and that was pretty much it. So it was pretty um, I felt like I had control, but the dogs pretty much did all the work. You just kind of sit on the back and we had good dogs, so I didn't have any problems. Okay. Not so bad, I guess. Let's do it. Oh, Lala, you are in your oh, element oh, right now. nice now. Jesse's going to drive me. I'm going to get all... That was a bug in a rug on my little dog sled tour. I know I can get to It's like the four seasons in there. <laughs> I have my I'm being chauffeured around by Jesse. I couldn't think of a better way to do this. Go doggy go! Yeah! This is awesome. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Those little, they're little, but they're strong. And they move really, really fast. Jesse, what's it like to, to be the guide? Tell you what, it's a little scary. It's kind of like driving a snowmobile, but the sled wants to turn left and right. And right. you don't feel it because you're not driving it. But yeah. it is intense and it's cold. It is really cold. It's really, really and coming cold. from me, I think that says a lot. Because and we've done you know, a lot of activities oh. outdoors, obviously, but this is really cold. But I can um, honestly say, I don't know if you can see in here, I've got blankets and a cover, and it's, yeah, it's cozy. Yeah, speaking of cold, if you're not going to wear those mittens, well, give me those things. <laughs> Here's my gloves. Okay. About three miles in, a quick break. Man, these Iditarod guides are no joke. This is one of the most intense things I've ever done on snow, and uh, <laughs> these guys have got their stuff together. You ready? Yes. You ready? It's All right, so let's do this. Intense. I don't know what to do. This was an unreal experience, and I just couldn't believe we were going remarkably fast. Tell me a little bit about the dogs and the strength that they have and what they're feeling while we're doing this. Well, these guys, they pretty much live to run. It's uh, its like us to say in Whistler, going skiing, going snowboarding. Uh -huh. Amazing fun for them. Same thing. They absolutely love it. Uh, they all prefer going flat out. The fastest they can go while pulling the sled is the speed you're going. Um, and especially today, it's a little bit hard and icy, so uh, easier for them to pull, easier for them to run. 
it's, it's pretty remarkable though because there's only three dogs in front of us and there's two of us i mean it's close to 250 300 pounds it's a lot of weight for three dogs to yeah pull. well like mean, these guys like pound for pound they're probably the strongest dogs in the world if they were like Great Dane size, they'd be unbelievably powerful. Wow. So, yeah. Well, it sounds like they are raring to go, so oh, we yeah. are gonna get out of the cold, maybe get some uh, hot chocolate go. or something oh, yeah. for ourselves, and get these dogs moving again because I think it's what they want to do. Oh, yeah, they're ready to go. Yep. <laughs>